This is a 2020 Hawk 250 that I stripped down and turned into a cafe racer. Oddly enough, the frame for this bike lends itself well to the cafe style. I really didn't have to change much in terms of that top beam on the frame. The tank and the seat fit fine. It's just kind of a nondescript cafe seat from Amazon. And that specifically is a Skyline Racer, a Skyline Cafe Racer tank, which I also just bought off of Amazon. It was about 95 bucks. Fits, actually fits perfect on this bike. So the back end's been bobbed. So that's been cut, filed, and the pipes uh, welded shut, tail light, fabricated a bracket and remounted it under the end. Cut all the brackets and the welds off the muffler and repainted it with header paint. The air box has been removed. New carburetor, rejetted with a pod filter, running a 110 main jet. Front end's been lowered. Back end's been lowered. It's as low as it'll go with the settings on the shock. New Clubman handlebars. New headlight. Took the gauge cluster off and just put the single speedometer just to kind of give the bike a little bit of a, a haircut for lack of a better term. Still has all the original controls. I like the way this bike rides much better now. It's much more agile in this format. I probably took 25 pounds of stuff off the bike. And with the carburetor rejetted and the 42 tooth sprocket in the back and the 17 in the front, this, for a 250, this thing will get up and go pretty well. Runs, runs well, runs like a top. It's a lot of fun to ride. You know, for a bike that cost, you know, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars brand new, really have no complaints. But I do like the look of it much better now. And I like the way it rides better, being a little bit lower. And the way it sits, with the new handlebars, it's actually really comfortable to ride. But let me know what you think. I haven't seen another Hawk 250 Cafe Racer.